This house was 6,000 feet from ground zero. Other homes that were closer were incinerated. Everybody has seen that very famous footage of the houses just imploding and then exploding out. What happens first is that it gets hit by the heat, and so it blistered almost all of the paint. When you look on the back side of the house, you can still see some remnants of the paint. It ripped all the gutters off of the house. The chimney here was shifted about six inches. The blinds that were on the windows were all blown out. But otherwise, this house withstood the blast pressures and the heat from the nuclear test. The Apple II bomb was placed in a tower 1,500 feet above the ground, so the resulting fireball wouldn't destroy monitoring equipment. Technicians built small towns within the blast zone. Shops, gas stations, dozens of homes made of brick and wood. They called the small cities doom towns. Here, just before dawn, for the first time in our history, American homes will be exposed to atomic blast. Today, main street of every American city and town. We had all kinds of houses built, grocery stores, we had uh, the electrical systems. Single-story homes, two-story homes, wooden, brick, block, and so on, different distances from the ground zero to see what the effects would be from the blast and the heat. Inside the buildings, workers positioned entire families of mannequins who silently waited for the explosions to come. Let's see what would happen to a normal, average family. We had mannequins with all different types of clothing on, wool, you know, cotton, rayon, nylon. The mannequins at a house that are roughly 5,000 feet away, I had them sitting at the kitchen table, and we had a lean-to in the basement. The mannequins became some of the most famous participants of the tests. Now, those mannequins that had radiation content, they never got them back, but the rest of them that didn't, they took them back. What they did with them, I don't know. <laughs> Scenes typical of the American family at home. First floor living room. Children at play, unaware of approaching disaster. 